Hi, my name is Dane, and this is a Dane film. When I was in high school, just starting to get into digital cameras and tech, I'd drive over to the local Best Buy or Fry's just to walk around. I'd go over to the latest mechanical keyboards or DSLRs and try them out, because it was just nice to feel them. Of course now, I'm into film photography, so in order to feed that childlike whimsy I get from shopping in person, also to celebrate 100 subscribers, y'all were going to an antique fair. I'm always impressed at the sheer variety of stuff you can find at an antique fair. You got your typewriters and, for some reason, street signs, but hey, did you also need a front airplane propeller thing? What about a new tablet for an all-in-one infotainment system 100 times better than CarPlay? It's crazy how many everyday items were made out of metal back then. I'd say let's bring this back, but with the rising aluminum prices, I'm good. Well, there we go, good old-fashioned Coke. Just in time for Coke O'Clock. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie, one of the most tempting items in the whole fair. And hey look, a camera. I saw a handful of Kodak Duoflex cameras, which are basically point and shoots disguised as TLRs. As TLRs like the Yashica Met and Rolleiflex began to get more popular in the 50s, Kodak released the Duoflex to sort of ride that wave. Oh man, you better believe it when I say these are the best true wireless earbuds on the market. Also a surplus of swords. And knives. And... Yeah, I could totally wear this. I haven't gotten into Polaroids yet, but if I start, I'm <laughs> definitely starting here. I mean, look at that one, it's huge, and... It was me, Barry. I light the beam, light the beam, light the beam. <laughs> Sorry, let's go Kings! You really can't beat going to an antique fair. There's so many little treasures you can find. And spoiler, I didn't get any film cameras. Jalene found some expired Kodak Ferrochrome for five bucks and it's for 220, which is pretty cool. We did see a good assortment of cameras, but I'm at a point right now where I am content with the gear I have. That, however, didn't stop me from buying stuff. Let me explain. <laughs> I've been playing racket sports my whole life and was a part of the varsity tennis team in high school. So when I saw this for five dollars, I do, I just had to have it. Because it's wood and will surely break if used extensively, my only plan for this is to use it as a prop. Which, if you've seen my last video, there is. I'd also want to use it for a photo shoot later because aesthetic. Yeah, the mindset I had going into the antique fair was very focused on getting different props that I could use in different videos, which I, I guess is my attempt to justify this. Now wait for it. That's it. That's why I got it. It's neat, right? Okay, this last find I'm genuinely happy about. I've been thinking about getting a really high quality tripod for a while. One that gets pretty tall and feels sturdy, but I'm always turned off by the price. Well, guess who found an all metal heavy duty tripod for 15 bucks? This is why we go to antique fairs. It's got a nice tilt and pan, and it gets super tall. And it is decently heavy, but I don't really mind it. I've used it in the last two videos already, and I'm definitely bringing it to night shoots. So yeah, that's what I got. Thank you all for 100 subscribers, and the next video will definitely be about film. Thank you.